Hey guys, what's going on? Steve, I'm back again, and I'm back with my Episode 3 trailer breakdown. So, let's take a look at the trailer for Episode 3. Oh nice boy, here we go. We can do now. Let's look the truth in the face. It's really dark. The trailer, at least. The Night King is coming. The dead are already here. There we go. Oh man. That was an awesome trailer. It looked pretty dark though. So kind of hard to see some things. But we'll have to wait and see. So anyways. Let's break it down. Of course the first thing we have here is. Everybody's in position. We have the Unsullied. We have some Catapults. We have some Trebuchets. We have the Dothraki right here in front. Pretty interesting formation. I will say that. I mean, you know, I'm not a battle commander, but I would probably have, you know, trebuchets and catapults, you know, in the back. Maybe unsullied in front with the spears when they do the phalanx, and when they come in, they get impaled. But, hey, I ain't no commander. Just saying. I also don't know why they're on the outside of Winterfell instead of inside behind the walls and stuff, but that's not me. I don't know. Alright, so of course we have, you know, everybody's in position, getting ready. We have Grey Worm putting on his helmet. I don't think he's going to make it. I really don't think he is. You know, after the interaction he had with uh, Missande and stuff at the end, you know, I think, what was it? Uh, where would you like to go or something like that? Or when this is all over, I think, what was it she said? She wanted to see the water or something like that. And I think he was like, I'll take you there. So, yeah, I kind of don't think he's going to to make it through. I could be wrong, but I think he's going to fall. All right, so of course we have John and Danny looks like up on a mountain or a cliff overlooking Winterfell and the armies and you know overlooking basically the entire battlefield I guess say you can see all the lights or not lights but torches flames uh, you know stuff like that sorry I sound so bad um, my allergies are really kicking in uh, so yeah that's why I sound like crap and my eyes are really killing me all right, so, of course, we have Sam here. He's going to be heading down to the crypts, I believe. And then, of course, we have the Unsullied walk marching by. Uh, we have Arya and Sansa up here on the um, battlements or walkway overlooking what's about to come. It's very interesting. They keep talking about the crypts. All right, so, of course, we have, you know, Sir Davos there walking along the ramparts with, I believe, the few men that are being left behind because everybody's out in the field then only a few are being left inside on the ramparts once again I don't know I'd have everybody inside manning the walls you know two rows of archers launching them let them come have the archers unload and drop rocks and whatever else you know like a typical siege you know but i don't know it'll be interesting i'll say that uh, and then of course we have everybody down here in the crypts they keep talking about the crypts quite a bit very interesting i'm going to the crypts we're going to the crypts you people belong in the crypts you should go to the crypts so yeah i think uh, something interesting is going to happen down here in the crypts can't really tell whose uh, statue that is, uh, you know, who they're gathered around, it looks like that could be a dire wolf, maybe, I don't know, is that like John's statue? Could this be Longclaw or, you know, something like it? Could this be Arya and that could be Needle? Or could this be someone else? 
I don't know. But it's going to be interesting to see what happens down the crypts. Of course, Tyrion's down there because, you know, Danny told him to go down there, even though he wanted to be up with um, Sir Davos there to assist and stuff like that. But Danny shut that down. Uh, and then, of course, we have Jorah here, who now has Heart's Bane, so more Valyrian Steel. All right, so we have a shot of John here. Not really much else to go on here. Fire in the background, but that could be from anything. That is a really cool shot. I mean, you can see the trebuchets, the catapults, the Thraki, uh, the Unsullied. Uh, I forget who's on the right side. Well, I guess left side if you're facing if you're facing out, that would be the left side, but this is the right side. I think this is um, Brienne, Jamie, and Knights of the Vale, I think. I could be wrong. Uh, and then, of course, we have Arya here running through the corridors and stuff like that from the original Season 8 trailer. You know, she does have, like, blood and stuff like that I think uh, from her head I think there was also like looked like a wound from her shoulder so I'm not sure what happens there now some people have been saying the reason she's running uh, is because apparently the Night King might raise up people from the crypts you know I guess in that trailer there you know they were enhancing the brightness and stuff like that because you know, during that trailer, whatever was, you know, chasing her, they apparently, I don't know if they edited it out or they just blackened it, but uh, apparently someone or something uh, is chasing Arya. Alright, so of course we have more of the Unsullied. Looks like they're marching, marching out. I don't know, it looks like an uh, archway right here. Alright, so we got Barrack. And the Hound, the Hound with his uh, Dragon Glass Axe. Looks pretty badass. Um, not sure exactly where they could be. It looks like they're going in, they're inside somewhere. I don't know if that's like passage down to the crypts or just inside Winterfell. All right, so then we have a shot of one of the dragons. Can't really make out which one can't even really make out who is on top i can't tell if that's john maybe that's danny i don't know the hair does look pretty light so maybe that is danny and that's drogon i don't know it's very hard to tell all right so of course we have the unsullied getting into um what is it phalanx position so you know spears in front you know shield spares spears uh as you can tell, I'm not doing so well with uh, with my allergies. All right, so we have Theon, of course, out here in the Godswoods protecting Bran. You know, this is going to be, I think, his big, massive, redeeming moment. And it's pretty cool to see him with a bow once again, flaming dragonglass arrow tip. And you can see some of the other Ironborn right back here and stuff like that so it does look like the uh the white walkers uh do get inside the god's wood so the on uh you know making up for it and protecting bran and then here's this other interesting shot we have john who appears to be in the god's woods as well looks like the god's woods kind of looks like red leaves and stuff like that i could be wrong maybe this is somewhere else but it's still very interesting um, you know, that he's not on Rhaegal, so unless Rhaegal gets injured or wounded or something like that and lands, John gets off and Rhaegal flies away. I don't know, it's still very interesting that he is on foot, but it does look like he is in the God's Woods, and of course he has Long Claw. Alright, and then of course we have John and Danny, the dead are already here. And then, of course, the dead approach. Uh, apparently, there's talk of they're going to do, or the Night King, the dead, are going to have some sort of, like, whiteout, well, not whiteout, but, like, some sort of storm to 
kind of like blind everybody and get everybody disorganized and stuff like that. I don't know if that's true. That's just some stuff I've been reading on Reddit. Take that with a grain of salt. And then, of course, we have Jamie, Brienne, Knights of the Vale, Brienne shouting, you know, what was it? Stand your ground, hold your ground. Stand your ground! Stand your ground. Of course, you know, I mean, people are going to be frightened seeing dead corpses coming at them. So, you know, nerves are going to be uh, pretty rattled, pretty shaken, pretty freaked out. Because I'm sure hardly, you know, no one's ever seen like a half-dead skeleton corpse chasing after them. So, yeah. But there we go. We have... Sir Brienne knighted. That was a really cool scene, seeing her, you know, get knighted by Jamie. Uh, I don't know if... Out of the two... If one of them is going to fall or... I don't think... Hmm, I don't know, it's tough. I don't know if one of them is going to fall or if both of them. Uh, you know, Brienne did have her you know, her moment, you know, getting knighted and stuff like that. So I don't know if that could be like her, you know, big ending moment. You know, hey, you just got knighted. You know, you're the first female knight. You know, kind of like, I don't know. I don't know how to like explain it. Um, I don't know, like like in The Walking Dead, if, you know, some unknown character all of a sudden starts getting screen time, you know they're getting killed off. So I don't know if, you know, with Brienne getting knighted, that was like her big moment, and now it's going to be the end of her. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure if she's going to die, if Jamie's going to die, if they're both going to die. You know, Pod also had a big moment with the song and singing and stuff like that. Maybe that's going to be his, you know, ending moment as well. Because, you know, he wasn't really much of a talker. I mean, he's had a few lines here and there. But, you know, singing the entire song and stuff like that. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see who who lives and who, who's not going to make it. You know, I still think Grey Worm's going to die. Uh, I think Theon will live... John obviously will live. Danny will live. I think Sansa and Arya will live. Uh, Beric might die. Uh, I think the Hound will be safe. Brienne. I don't know. I think... I don't know. I think Jamie might die. Because wasn't it like the whole thing, you know, die... I don't know how it goes, but died in the arms of the woman he loves or something like that. So Jamie dying in her arms could happen unless Jamie dies first and then Brienne dies after. Your guess is as good as mine, but it's going to be very interesting. Can't wait to see what happens. So, anyways, uh, my eyes are killing me. Hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you did, hit that thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. Remember, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description box below. And leave me your thoughts and comments. What do you guys think? Who are your death predictions? Who do you think is going to live? And who do you think is not going to see the morning? Let me know. I'm very curious to see what you guys think. You know, do you agree with some of the ones I've said? Do you disagree? Let me know. And other than that, you know, uh, just stick around. Uh, I might do some, you know, more Game of Thrones tribute videos. I believe Zurich actually came out with a new one today. Uh, I saw an icon for it, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking that tribute video out. And I might actually start doing... <sighs> better late than ever uh, reaction videos to the episodes what a better way to at least start with uh, the big battle for Winterfell 
as long as my allergies don't flare up, I mean, they are killing me right now, so... So uh, I'm going to go get some medicine. So anyways, uh, just stick around. More videos are on the way. And I'll see you guys next time.